Hello, welcome to this video about the histological structure of liver. Liver is the greatest gland in the entire human body. It weighs about 1.5 kilograms and is located within the abdominal cavity beneath the diaphragm on the right side of the body. Liver is covered by a thin fibrous capsule which is derived from peritoneum. Thus, it's covered by simple squamous epithelium, mesothelium. The basic structural and functional unit of liver is a liver cell, hepatocyte. Hepatocytes are arranged in plates or cords which usually comprise of two layers of cells. These cords anastomose with one another. They join up, creating a complex labyrinth. Hepatocyte is a cell which serves many important functions in the body. These cells synthesize blood proteins such as albumin, coagulation factors, fibrinogen, transferrin, which is carrier protein of iron, various lipoproteins that are released into the bloodstream. They produce bile, which is then transported by a system of ducts, then stored in a gallbladder. Bile helps the absorption of fats. It breaks down bigger lipid particles into smaller ones. They also store glucose, which is found in its polymer form, glycogen. They also take part in the metabolism of vitamins and hormones and in detoxification of foreign and harmful substances which could damage the body. The liver gets most of its blood from the portal vein, which is formed from the superior mesenteric vein and splenic vein, which drains inferior mesenteric vein. This blood is rich in nutrients that are absorbed in the digestive tract and in bilirubin. Bilirubin is a product of degradation of hemoglobin, which is located within red blood cells. These cells die in the spleen. The main portion of oxygen comes from the hepatic artery, which branches from the celiac trunk, which is a branch of aorta. Another structure we can find in porta hepatis is the hepatic duct, which moves bile into the gallbladder. In the section, there are branches of portal vein and hepatic artery entering the liver and bile ducts exiting the liver, which are embedded in a connective tissue. The structural and functional units of liver are hepatic lobules. Its structure resembles a hexagonal prism, which is formed of cords of hepatocytes with sinusoids between them. Sinusoids are special types of capillaries which converge into the center of lobule. The center of a lobule is a central vein. This vein has a very thin wall. Both portal vein and hepatic artery enter the liver. They branch into smaller and smaller branches. The content of vessels mixes up and drains into a central vein. The portal spaces at the corners of the lobules contain branches of aforementioned vessels, namely interlobular vein from the portal vein and interlobular artery from hepatic artery. The third structure we can find there is an interlobular hepatic duct with cuboidal epithelium. These three structures are embedded in a connective tissue and make up a structure called a portal triad. This area also contains lymphatic vessels. The portal spaces make up the corners of the lobules. Now pay attention to the branching of veins and arteries. Interlobular veins branch into circumlobular veins at their periphery. Circumlobular veins branch into precapillary veins and these drain into liver sinusoids. Interlobular arteries drain directly into circumlobular veins, precapillary veins or sinusoids. We can find mixed arterial and venous blood in sinusoids and central veins. Another structural unit of liver is the liver acinus. 
lobule of the circumlobular vein. It is an area whose blood is supplied by one circumlobular vein. This area that is in the proximity of an imaginary line that connects two portal spaces is the first one to get into contact with the blood entering the tissue. If there is a lack of oxygen, the area around the central vein will be damaged simply because the oxygen will get depleted by the cells that kind of touch the blood first. On the contrary, if there are toxins in blood, the damaged cells will be those that get into contact with blood first. From the functional point of view, we can distinguish one more structure, and that is the portal lobule. It's an area where blood is supplied by one interlobular artery and vein. We have already mentioned that bile is produced by hepatocytes. These cells bind together and form a system of tubes which transports the bile. Intercellular bile canaliculi are 1 to 2 micrometers thick and are surrounded by the membranes of hepatocytes. From these smallest tubes, bile enters canals of herring which have their own epithelial lining. We can see both transverse and longitudinal section. Here we can see canals of herring that is close to the circumlobular vein. Bile from the portal lobule is drained by the interlobular bile duct in the portal spaces. Endothelial cells of sinusoids are isolated from hepatocytes by the space of this perisinusoidal space. We can find two kinds of cells in this space, Kupfer cells and Ito cells. Kupfer cells can be also found directly in the sinusoids. They are typical macrophages. They phagocyte and digest old erythrocytes, bacteria and other particles. We can sometimes see the deep indentation of the nucleus which is typical for macrophages. Ito cells are stellate cells that, if not stimulated, store fat and vitamin A. We cannot easily distinguish them from hepatocytes. Hepatocytes also store fat in the form of lipid inclusions and they basically look alike. It's not as important to distinguish them in the section. What is more important is that in case of a tissue damage, they gain a new function. They can contract and produce a great deal of extracellular matrix, which can cause narrowing of sinusoids and consequently lead to portal hypertension. Central veins join up and create sublobular veins, which drain into hepatic veins. We can see sublobular veins in this section and we can also see that they are basically alone, not accompanied by any other structure. We can see sublobular vein with its tributaries and a bigger sublobular vein. They join and create hepatic veins, which then enter the inferior vena cava.